Hello, I'm Loon June, and in today's video, I'll be showing you a guide on how to get 200,000 hits per treasure chest run in random dice. As you may know, this isn't the first time that this event was released. I've also made a guide during the previous treasure chest event on it. This time, the setup is a tad bit different than the previous one, and also I have class 12 Lunar. Yeah, let's get into it. As a short disclaimer, the footage that I've recorded only went to 190,000 hits. I have gotten 210,000 hits on wave 15 and a constant 200,000 hits for most of my runs. However, I did not record for those games and I only recorded for this one for the purpose of this video. That is why you would see 190,000 and also the setup wasn't the greatest in this video. If I had a slightly better setup then I might have gotten way more than 200,000 but that's about it. Let me explain the decks. The decks are what you see on the screen right now. And as you can see the DPS is the one who takes the metastasis dice. This is because the support can better operate without issues when mimic is in place rather than meta. But since both sides do need metastasis, the DPS takes the metastasis dice. Then later on, the support does its thing, blah blah blah, and let's get into the gameplay. The start is pretty simple. For the support, you basically need to spawn dice and fill board and then power up silencer dice to max level. Do not power up the bubble dice since it won't affect anything for this run. For the DPS, you will want to get at least a 4 pip setup. This might be challenging for some since you aren't bringing blessings, but here's a small tip. If you first get growth, try to chain your growths. However, when your growth chain breaks, then that's when you save SP. By saving SP and then spawning all the dice at once, you can ensure that you would be able to get at least one growth and a few jokers to continue with the chaining. Otherwise, you might spawn a growth but have no SP to spawn another growth or joker to continue the chain. The DPS also wants the joker metastasis as much as possible to give SP to your support. Also, decide whether or not you want to get hit by wave 15 night boss. If you don't, make sure you can still insta kill the boss. After DPS side gets set up, it's the support's turn. 
The support must send Assassin first and then Bubble. If your DPS is ready before wave 15, you can send the Assassins you have currently and let Knight flip. Also the 210,000 hit run on wave 15, it might sound like a lie. However, there is a huge tip. The support will lock its own night boss while the DPS kills it or lets it hit for extra growth. Then the support will constantly lock the knight in place until DPS gets set up. Very simple yet no one will tell you this tip. Most players will go oops ggs when they see a wave 15 treasure chest boss. However, with this strategy, you can get a good setup and get lots of keys.
When the boss appears, the support wants to lock its own boss first and then let DPS's boss go right through. And when the chest boss uses its lock ability, that's when you send a 2 pip bubble to get your DPS healthy again. Also in case if it is locked on the DPS side, you can send assassin to get rid of the lock ability. Once the DPS boss has gone through, that's when you lock your own boss when it meets in the middle of the lane. Then you merge all the remaining silencer counting at least 10 seconds and don't spawn any. The reason for not spawning is when you spawn, the boss will lock more tiles. By doing this, you can get more tiles secure using bubble since there are low amounts of used tiles and also can make sure boss won't lock the whole board. Then once you don't have any silencer remaining, that's when you spawn the rest and continue on. This should take you pretty decently in terms of hits slash keys. As I said, I can consistently get at least 150,000 with this method. There are more methods out there, but I think this is the most consistent. Well, at least for me. The reason for Assassin on the support side is because I literally cannot get a 7 pip Lunar next to some wind dice. Just check this clip out. Now that is some insane bad RNG right there. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. Like and subscribe to see more content like this. I'm sorry if this feels rushed. I really wanted to get this video out of the way. Have a wonderful day.